Hi, my name's Peter Coffin, and uh, they're trying to take our talk. TikTok goes the clock. Yes, the U.S. government has passed a ban on TikTok, and yes, it does have elements that are time-related. It is every cornball news story writer's wet dream. This morning, the clock begins ticking down for TikTok. You see what I mean? I probably don't need to give an in-depth explanation on what TikTok is. It's the app that made short-form vertical video a lot of people's primary means of entertainment. It's also Chinese, making it the only of the popular social networks in America to not be owned by America. Or at least Americans. Uh, Westerners. After the Senate last night passed a bill giving the social media platform's Chinese parent company an ultimatum, sell the app or be banned in the U.S. TikTok is a major foreign threat. Ah, yes, the red menace, TikTok, here to spread propaganda that erodes our confidence in the U.S. government. I am immediately reminded of the last video I did uh, about Marquez Brownlee posting a negative review about the humane AI pin. Don't say anything bad about the poor $240 million company's product. You know, their terrible, useless product that doesn't work right. Don't say anything bad about the U.S. government. People will think it is incompetent and is involved in horrific acts. Just like the Humane AI pin is a useless product that doesn't work right, uh, the U.S. government is incompetent and involved in horrific acts around the world. The reviews... Right. Should we not be allowed to say what is right? Probably the best way to not have a bunch of people say stuff like that is to not be incompetent and involved in horrific acts around the world. Seems self-explanatory. Lawmakers in both parties say TikTok poses a serious national security risk. They claim the Chinese government could force TikTok's owner ByteDance to hand over Americans' data or use the app to spread misinformation by promoting certain content. You see, the Chinese government is going to take your data. Something that the U.S. government and all of the private entities that own our social networks in America definitely don't do. Oh, wait. Um... I meant the opposite of the thing that I said. That's like the U.S. government and private entities that own social networks' favorite thing to do. Uh, I don't know why I said the opposite of that. Uh, I knew that it was untrue, but I said it anyway. I guess we should ban YouTube. Oh wait, we won't do that because the problem absolutely isn't either of the things that they just said. It's because China. and. I don't even really think it's specifically because China, it's just that China doesn't have any incentive to stop narratives that could undermine U.S. interests. The platform is used by 170 million Americans, some of whom make a living off the app. I'm happier than I have ever been, and it is because this app has opened the door for me to figure out how I can make a difference in the world. Gay. Jennifer Gay. Well, that's a lot of people China has access to, right? But the problem isn't China's access to these people. For one, ByteDance, the owners of TikTok, have said that they explicitly have no links to the Chinese government and would not share data with the Chinese government. TikTok denies sharing data with China's government and says it stores data in the U.S. But Senator Mark Warner says critics of the potential ban haven't seen all the evidence about the damage the app could do. Like, I, I, they could be lying. I don't exactly trust big companies that run social networks or anything. But, I mean, that's explicitly what all of our companies do. The Twitter files, whether you like it or not, prove that Twitter prior to Elon Musk's ownership, and also probably still, explicitly cooperated or collaborated with the FBI and the Biden administration itself. U.S. government made requests to Twitter for user information and for silencing of specific topics and people. The Facebook whistleblower from a few years ago showed us similar things. Also, Facebook's complete antipathy towards human trafficking they're just like, you know what, if you're going to use Facebook for that, don't make it obvious. And then there's a fact that there are many other Chinese services that are actually more actively collecting data than TikTok is. 
There are a lot of video game companies owned by Tencent. It's one of the biggest companies in the world. And pretty much every one of those games with anti-cheat has root level access to your computer as you're playing your games. That's like a significantly bigger privacy slash security concern than TikTok collecting your data in the exact same way that Facebook, Twitter, and any other modern app does. It's a large portion of pretty much everybody's business model, regardless of origin country. Get that data, make that advertising profile, and sell, sell, sell. But somehow, TikTok is a unique problem that needs to be addressed specifically. Why? Senator Mark Warner says critics of the potential ban haven't seen all the evidence about the damage the app could do. At the end of the day, they've not seen what Congress has seen. They've not been in the classified briefings that Congress has held, which have delved into more deeply some of the threat posed by foreign control of TikTok. So disclose that stuff? Like, here's the problem I see with that. Anything that they disclose there from that information, I suspect is not illegal. Like I said, pretty much every single app out there is collecting tons of data and just kind of sells it to anybody willy-nilly. And these guys are trying to sell the American public on the idea there is a reason to specifically target TikTok, and yet they're telling us none of it. You guys just like Instagram better? Is that what it is? Because TikTok, you know, is filled with all these kids talking about how there's genocide going on in Palestine. Instagram is more like, hey, if you mix this magical powder I sell in with the drink you have every morning, you will have a much better day. President Biden is expected to sign the bill today. At that point, ByteDance will have nine months to sell the platform. But ByteDance is vowing to fight the ban in court, calling it a clear violation of the First Amendment. Uh, because it is. ByteDance, I don't really think, does a great job explaining why this is a freedom of speech issue. It's actually ironic because the freedom of expression on TikTok reflects the same American values that make the United States a beacon of freedom. TikTok gives everyday Americans a powerful way to be seen and heard. And that's why so many people have made TikTok part of their daily lives. I did a documentary, uh, I'll do the thing here on free speech. And I think you should watch that because not only does it show that I'm quite well endowed nearly immediately, but it also is a very good critique of freedom of speech in the United States. Part of the reason that social networks took hold when they originally did was the promise of the democratization of media. You see, the First Amendment guarantees us a right to the free press, but here's the thing about the free press. A printing press costs money. So freedom of the press is really for people who own a printing press. Social networks like Twitter and YouTube actually gave the public the ability to publish and be heard. And that is why the U.S. government spent so much time establishing intelligence relationships with each one of these companies so that they could do the things that the Twitter files and the Facebook whistleblower told us about. I'm sorry, but you got to bottleneck the democracy and the freedom, okay? If you just let the democracy and freedom flow, eventually the democracy and freedom is going to lead to problems for the ruling class. Those puny little ants outnumber us a hundred to one. And if they ever figure that out, there goes our way of life. We would know about every single law that TikTok breaks, if they were indeed breaking any. They would waste no time blasting us with that information on every possible outlet. They're singling this app out, an app that doesn't do anything different than all of the other apps, except for the fact that they can't control it. It's not because there are security concerns. That's ridiculous. Every one of these apps is a massive security concern. Every one of these apps doesn't respect your privacy in the least. TikTok is in no way special in any of that. It is purely about control. And the thing is, it's not even just a ban. It's America trying to steal TikTok. President Joe Biden signing a bill sent to him by Congress that would effectively ban the social media app in America if the company that owns it doesn't find a new owner in the next few months. They want a U.S. company to control it so they can establish an intelligence relationship and control what is allowed on the platform. 
And yet all these news stories have the gall to talk about the authoritarian Chinese government. Many American leaders say TikTok is a threat to U.S. national security. The app is owned by ByteDance, a privately owned Chinese company. But in China, the authoritarian government often treats privately owned companies like they are government owned. Our government will only give these broad, generalized, frankly unfalsifiable arguments as to why a certain social network has to literally be pried from the hands of its owners and put into U.S. ownership. And until they provide some kind of actual proof of wrongdoing on the part of TikTok, something that actually violates some on-the-books law for real, they are arbitrarily pointing at something because it is popular and saying, I would like that. But in an ideal situation, these social networks should be facilitating the expression of everyone who wants to express themselves. If indeed the social contract of capitalism is real, is true, is executed on, then no, we shouldn't have to own the printing press in order to exercise our freedom of the press. But they continue to show us that that's exactly the problem here. If people start exercising their freedom of the press and say stuff that the people that own everything don't like, then they got to do something to change all of that around. They got to rearrange power so that they are back in control. They? Who's they? I bet you mean the Jews. No, I mean the capitalists and their state. And that's all I got for you. But uh, what do you have for me? There's a whole comment section down there for you to just fill right up. Uh, lick the buttons underneath, slurp on them, uh, become a subscriber, and don't forget to money me at patreon.com slash Peter uh, My latest documentary is up here, um, or watch the free speech one I mentioned a while ago. If you got a little less time, check out some of my more recent shorter videos. I hope you have a good day. See you later.